I'm the perfect person to review this. Saw the animated film in the 80s. Saw part of the first Channing Tatum movie. Never saw the sequel. I watched the show a little when I was a kid. Haven't really seen it since. So anyway, let's talk about G.I. Joe Origins Snake Eyes. Is it going to be the height of this movie series like Bumblebee, or a low like Origins Wolverine? Um, it's somewhere in between. First, I'll say I do love Henry Golding in this. I dig this actor. I've seen him do comedy, drama, romance, action. He's charismatic and cool as hell, and I love seeing him headline a big action movie. I just wish the movie was better. Hell, the backstory we see at the beginning, and then the introduction to the character as an adult, I kind of felt like I was just watching that recent Mortal Kombat movie again. It left me very confused, like, oh, clearly, I'm watching a Mortal Kombat mythology Sub-Zero movie. A lot of times I was even forgetting this was a G.I. Joe film, till about halfway through when we get references to Cobra, and I was like, oh yeah, right. G.I. Joe Origins is a Paramount film, but it feels like if G.I. Joe was a Marvel property, but Sony made the movie. All of that would be fine, except the action isn't very good. There would be whole fight scenes where I couldn't really tell who was fighting who, and when one dude faces off against 20 sword-wielding Yakuza's and appears to finish them off in 10 seconds, it didn't really feel like that was intentional. It felt like a longer fight scene was confusingly cut by about 75%. The action isn't as unintelligible as, like, Taken 3, but there is still a lot of drunk cam going on. The supporting cast is just kind of there. They were more noticeable just because I recognized the actor playing them. Like, okay, I recognize Samara Weaving more so than Scarlet being particularly well-written. It's the kind of movie where I didn't mind that I had to get up and use the restroom at one point. Although I am glad I did not miss the face-off against a pit of movie monster-sized anacondas and a flaming rock the villain uses to spontaneously make things explode like he's just figured out the exploding bullet code. I'll give the movie a C-. minus. Henry Golding is good. I'd like to see this character in a better movie. But clearly this will always be the better Snake Eyes movie. I'm Ricky! And I am the king! Thanks for watching, everyone. Subscribe to our channel today and click the notification bell. And stick around later on for my review of Old. I can't wait to talk about that one.